fallout for comedian Kathy Griffin after she posted for a post for photos holding the bloody head that resembled the president. She was fired yesterday by CNN as co-host of their New Year's Eve coverage, and now the Secret Service is investigating. Our John Keller gives us his take. Good morning. What can we learn from the Kathy Griffin fiasco? We can relearn an old lesson famously taught to us 63 years ago this month by Joseph Welch, a Boston lawyer defending the U.S. Army against accusations of communist infiltration logged by red-baiting Senator Joe McCarthy. McCarthy was ruining reputations and lives with charges that often lacked supporting evidence. And when he went after a young associate in Welch's law firm, well struck back in a moment historians say marked the beginning of the end for McCarthy. Have you no sense of decency, sir? At long last, have you left no sense of decency? Decency, the basic requirement of respectable behavior. It's different from taste or propriety, standards that are routinely violated in our culture without anyone batting an eye. When Kathy Griffin and her edgy photographer buddy chose to show her holding a bloody facsimile of our president's head, they violated basic standards of decency on multiple levels. A decent person would never make light of the vicious slaughter of another human being, especially during an era when the most vile terrorists on earth have made such slaughter their trademark. And no decent person would ever make a joke of any kind about the murder of a president. Decency matters in a special way. It is the basic sense of right and wrong that defines humanity at its best, the foundation of our capacity to care about others, what separates the civilized from the uncivilized. That's where Kathy Griffin still doesn't get it. I went too far, I made a mistake, and I was wrong. No, not just mistaken or wrong, indecent. And even these days, decency still matters. Your feedback is welcome via email at keller at wbztv.com or through Twitter at Keller at Large.